MQ-135 adopts SNO2 as its gas-sensitive material because SNO2 has low electrical conductivity in clean air. So when surrounded by polluted air, the electrical conductivity of MQ-135 will increase with the increase of pollutants and the change in electrical conductivity can be converted to corresponding output signal. Now let's do a simple module test. First, connect this board to computer with a USB cable to download the program. Then go to device manager to check if it is correctly connected. Right click computer, go to properties, click device manager and click port you can see Arduino Uno R3 COM3, meaning board is successfully connected. Now open Arduino IDE, click Tools. For board, select Arduino Uno. For port, select COM3. After selection, you can see here is the same with settings in Device Manager. In here, we can compile a program or directly copy and paste the program. For all of our products, we have supporting files from where you can find a simple program for this module. Directly copy the program and paste it here. Click Verify to check compiling mistakes. If codes are correct, click Upload to upload the program to the board. After uploading is done, let's do the wire connection. This module has four pins. In this test, we need to connect three pins. Connect ground to ground, BCC to 5 volt, A0 to A0. The same with settings in the program. Now open serial monitor, you can see the value it displays. Wait for it to be stabilized. The higher the value, the more polluted the air. Test is now complete. Thank you.